Welcome back to Two Canadians at Cafe Elise, a bigger podcast, episode 50. I'm your host, Dr. Anton, and with me is the co-host, DJ Spencer. Hello. And we have uh, two special guests with us for the 50th episode. We have Wardog. Hey, you are. And Dizzy. Hello. 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 Um, they've both been on before. We've had them both on for our little uh, chat with uh, partners. And we want to do something special for the 50th. Got them back. They agreed. They graciously agreed to come back. And it's really late where they are right now. So <laughs> yeah. we'll try to make this go smooth and painless. <laughs> well, thank, but, you, um, thank you for the invite. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very yes. much. Appreciate well, it. Well, hey, yeah. we appreciate having you guys. And um, I'm sure the community will love to, to have you here too and and uh, hear everyone's thoughts. Um, we figured a 50th episode. Um, the new update just came out. We haven't, none of us have had a really good chance to play too much of it. Mm -hmm. So we would just have a little, you know, talk about it a little bit. I'm oh, just going to celebrate, by the way, 50 with uh, the finest Kirkland brand of Costco maple syrup. Ah. Maple syrup. And I ran out today. I had my last maple syrup today. <laughs> You've already been celebrated. Yeah. already <laughs> celebrated with it. That's I fine. did for the one year anniversary. So this is my you did. I remember. anniversary shot. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> But, and then we'd also uh, just continue yeah. talking and talk about the, the state of vigor and get our all everyone's thoughts and, and we'll just chat about bigger. We did something similar um, last week or last episode with Bobo Rail, um, mm -hmm. but that was more of a a bit of a combination interview slash um, talk about bigger. But here we we've already interviewed these um, these fine partners. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so you already know. Well, hopefully you already know them. If you haven't. Go back to the episodes. I believe they were episode uh, 38 and 39, I, I believe, is mm -hmm. right around there. I think 38 and 39 is when we had mm -hmm. both, both on. So, and they were like one after another, too. That was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't meant to, you know, it just sort of happened the way. So, <laughs> but we appreciate you coming back um, for number 50. No, it's awesome. It's awesome Perfect. to be a part of the, uh, the 50th, the 50th episode. No. Can you believe it's 50? Wow. I know. It's <laughs> insane. No, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm thinking like I, it's been, well, two and a half, well, almost two years. No, that we've just been doing over the, two years now. Just, just over two years. Ooh, okay. Because it's mm -hmm. right, like right when we started is right around this time. Yep. And yeah, so it's, it's just, wow, it just blows your mind. Yep. <laughs> I, so I'm shocked Doc has been able to listen to me talk for like <laughs> two years now. Is it, I don't know, maybe he's regretting it because he's the one who came up with the idea and asked uh, if I wanted to be part of it. And I said, uh, should, do you really want me? To? And he said, well, we kind of have similar, you know, trains of thought and whatnot. So thought it'd be a good and we need to have somebody you know at least one person who can talk on the on the podcast whereas i'm like <laughs> yeah i'm more of the idea guy <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the big talker <laughs> or we get the uh the great yeah. guests who also uh are really good at um yes at uh chatting as well so that helps so a lot filling that in exactly yes yeah yep um so update 13.1 just came out um yeah we, we all haven't had much time to play with it but have you what have you noticed much like the little bit of times you've had to play like for me personally i was playing a bit today and and the other day um the loot distribution has mm -hmm. really changed for a it's lot really of maps, changed, yeah. yes. certain yeah. things right yeah, yeah. i've seen, seen a lot of the uh, of the community asking actually if loot had been removed from the game like, yeah uh, um, <laughs> Like saying, where's all the loot gone um, from all the community yeah. pages like Facebook, etc. I scroll through them quite a lot. And yeah, and and then obviously I'd noticed it myself as well while playing. Um, but obviously they've just distributed it more than taking yeah. it away again. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Different maps. So yeah, I've, we've definitely seen the difference in that as well. It's the um, yep. Zero to Hero runs, isn't it? So if, yeah. you, if you're looking <laughs> yeah. for weapons, you can't find where the weapons crates used to be. Yeah. <laughs> you have to yeah. adjust now. Yeah, you have to yeah. re relearn yeah. everything. Exactly. My, 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 my main one that I see is the truck on battle. The truck. Oh, yeah. the truck. Yeah. I see yeah. that. All the, the I've seen many, many <laughs> posts about that one truck yeah. saying, where's my portables? Where's, yeah. where's, where's everything? My, uh, yeah, where is everything? Yeah. Where's it all gone? 
I've seen yeah. people even on those same posts like talking about what do the the devs just hate the players? <laughs> you know, like coming up with it, the devs just hate us. Like no, 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 yeah, no. The devs it's hate not, you. It, That's why it's <laughs> not hate the players. It's hate the looters, right? Because everyone's like, oh, everything is pro killer and whatnot. So it's like, <sighs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, yeah. I, I know it's the same thing too. Like Diverg, you know, underneath the bridge, there used to be like as of thirteen season thirteen, there was like five spawn points for chemicals all in the one spot and now it's like just one so uh yeah that was a really good spot for chems and that's gone so and your loot runs like, have changed then yeah. uh yeah. <laughs> it's still you're, you're pretty much still downtown uh yep. diverged, so it's like it, it's not too bad you're not diverging too much but uh it's just a little disappointing because you, you need to work a little harder now for uh, i see yeah. if, you, if you want them or need them so I was noticing today, uh, Vic Torson, um, the usual, you know, if I'm looking for wire, because wire is like the last thing I really need from my, my last build. Um, and all the uh, the places I would hit wire for, um, like a lot of those blue boxes, didn't have much. And I was, and like in my one run, I was pretty close to, you know, starting right near them to, to start that little circuit. And I couldn't mm -hmm. find any wire. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> they yeah. really they changed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and apparently there was also the LMG uh, adjustment, but I haven't played many LMGs. I don't know has anyone tried them yet. I haven't really tried them, although I do still see a lot of people using them, um, yeah. and I have seen that some people have said that they, although there is a slight change, obviously when it comes to like the jump shot in the the blooms, obviously much much wider, um, but I, I still think. I, I personally still think they could be adjusted a bit more than yeah. what they okay. are now. They could they could obviously have a wider spread because they still seem to be over powerful still a little bit, on my yeah. opinion. I think, like I say, there's increase in the bloom. Mm -hmm. but, there's, so, but if you're still aiming down the middle, there's, there isn't much recoil, is there, to put it away? No, there isn't. That's, that's the it's, difference I've noticed. Yeah, it's more, it's more just the bloom. The yeah. recoil is pretty much... The same so you can still get those shots on um still see still see them everywhere i got absolutely mulled down on <laughs> fiel canton the other day from across the map by one so oh, wow. yes so yeah long distance i have as well it's the reload yeah. time though that's that's the i think yeah. that's a good thing yes. if you can if you could dodge enough bullets and they go to reload that's when you've got an advantage mm -hmm. now because that reload time yep. has definitely yeah. increased definitely um, yeah yeah i i found that the m249 though is like not as good as what it used to be okay uh, like i i took it out for a few runs and personally like mm -hmm. i find that it has definitely been nerfed right and not nerfed into the ground i think it's still usable uh but i find now that if you have skill you're going to be able to get those kills like yeah. if you're capable of like using burst uh you know as yeah. like you know the firing yeah. manually it's like you're, you're still going to be in a de decent spot with it uh but you can't just spray and pray i find uh, with the m249 mm -hmm. um i think that's, that was probably the one that was hard hardest hit um the l86 is i think is still really good um I, i'm actually surprised um i was using it as a sniper and it was actually like pretty good uh, yeah. It's not anywhere near as good as like the other ones, like a, a, a pure uh, rifle, but uh, it is really good. Um, the only other one I thought I used too was the RPK-74, I think. Uh, that one didn't feel much different, um, but I only I think, used it for one or two games. So I think that's yeah. the one I've used as well, yeah. yeah. It, it didn't feel much different, apart from what I was no. talking about before, the reload speed was slower, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But, yeah. but actually to use it, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. and it's really painful if uh, if you're used to uh, hitting reload after a few bullets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was doing, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I ran a bunch of shootouts trying to finish um, a few of my dailies. I had a couple of dailies I had to do a shootout, and I have a few seasonals that are shootout related as well. So I was running a bunch of shootouts um, off stream uh, yesterday, and um, yeah, I really I do really notice the bloom on the uh, the machine guns. You really notice it in there and um the knockback 
as well. That, and that's not just new for this uh, update. Like, but when you hit get hit by something that gives you knockback, it mm. just really, it really like just floors you because it like your your um, your vision goes a little all blurry, right? And um, and your your bloom gets really big even from that. So yeah, yeah. you have a, a machine gun, and you have like somebody hits you with a gun like that, then it's like forget it. You're not hitting anything. Um, so I didn't oh, I really just, notice. I that. hold down the trigger if I'm stunned. I'm like. Literally, yeah. just like just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Full, full I know, you know like, at the best of times. So, like, yeah, it, stun yeah. me, forget it. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah, shooting no, no, at I, the sky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is there anything else that happened this uh, this update? Oh, I know they did uh, Stalkers season um, nine. Okay. Yeah. The big, the big thing the... probably the tutorial. Tutorial. Yeah. Yeah. Tutorial, yeah. The tutorial changes. Um, big yeah, thing. Obviously, right. like the 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 4K that they've added as well. Yes. Um, so obviously Does it, do anybody console. have 4K? So I have a yep. 4K TV downstairs, although I okay. am still yet to move my console downstairs and give it a go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I, I noticed it uh, when I fired up the game uh, for my first stream after the update. Um, yeah. Like, I think there's already upscaling with the Series X anyways. Okay, um, right. And I have a 4K TV and like I noticed when I went from my 1S to the Series X, there was a, a much better image, but I did notice uh, much better imaging uh, with this update. Um, the only thing that uh, I was a little concerned and maybe like a little disappointed was like the rendering is still kind of an issue where at certain distance mm. you have like yep. bushes or certain objects that kind of still pop in type thing. Yes. So uh, like yeah. maybe it's not related, uh, but it like the the 4K does make the game look so much better. So, okay. yeah, one of these. I don't have any 4K in my in my life at the moment. So, no, it's yeah, one of those things. Either. Yeah, <laughs> Black well, Friday to... this week. 4K. Yeah. <laughs> yes, true. Yeah. <laughs> Is that an offer? I wish. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you, there will be a 4K one at some point. Yeah. Oh, oh, there totally will be Black Friday or you know for us Boxing Day. Um, yeah. Are there yeah. big sales in the UK for Boxing Day? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the the most of the sales are clothing. Yeah, you, oh, okay. I notice that every year on Boxing Day, if you go out, it's the clothing stores that put on the biggest sales here. So yeah, that's true. Not the electronics. So yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> the, yeah the electronics do reduce in price, but I don't think enough to make someone want to buy a, a 4K TV, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know here, at least in, in my, on my side of Canada, but I'm sure it's probably the, was the same way. Like years ago, it's and it's always sort of been a thing in Boxing Day is when a lot of the electronics resellers would have their huge specials, right? Like they'd have like, come in, there'll be like one, one or two of something available at a ridiculously low price. Yeah. And a whole bunch of other stuff on sale as well, and that was and that, and then because Black Friday wasn't a thing mm. here, um, but now because of the you know influence of America, it's <laughs> it's becoming a thing here. It's like yeah, your Black Friday specials, like whatever. Yep. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was always huge here, so yeah, I'll have to eventually get myself something 4K like, so I can uh, actually enjoy it. Yeah. A lot of the electronic sales they, they come frequently too, so it's not like you're going to get a bunch of like, you know, really really good deals. But um, like even Boxing Day sales, I find like for the most part like those days of like you know one or two TVs for like you know a ridiculous low offer is fairly rare to see now. So, but yeah, anyways, and that was also pre online, like when uh, online That's became true, yeah. huge. Like yeah, online yeah. was sure there, but it wasn't the same. There wasn't Amazon and their Prime Days and, and all these other specials that they always have, right? It was mm -hmm. the early days where you had to go out in minus 30 to weather and, and line up at, <laughs> at your local electronics shop yep. to, to get the latest. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like the night before. Yep. Camp oh, out. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I know people who've camped out and stuff, and I'm like, <sighs> no way. <laughs> no, like the earliest I've really gone was, it. yeah, uh, I I remember like the earliest I've gone out uh, was probably like five thirty a.m. and the store was opening at eight. So wow. yeah, yeah, I remember doing but some the, of that. I remember I think Guitar Hero when Guitar Hero re replaced um like came out with their um the big set that had like drums and everything. So because Rock Band had yeah, drums yeah, yeah, yeah. first, right? Yeah. But then Guitar Hero came out with a big set. 
I, yeah. I lined up for that one. Yeah. Yep. It was early. <laughs> uh, yep. But back to Vigor. Um, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, it's all good. The, uh, the only other thing uh, really that's new, uh, well, there's the premium pack um, yeah, yeah. and th there's the new uh, set of vinyls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Disco File 2, isn't it? That's yep, it, the, the new title. Yeah. Everyone, yep. yeah. And I, 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 found any I haven't, <laughs> yeah, I haven't found any either. Uh, but I did see on Twitter, I think it was either today or last night, someone actually already found all of them. Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw that as well. Yeah, so I saw someone see that, but yeah, Very I haven't sure. personally looked myself yet. I haven't really gone looking at the yeah. moment. So <laughs> it's something like was it six or not eight? Is it? No, it's like six more six. albums or six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the two commons, two uncommons, a rare and a military grade. I think. Yeah. 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 I thought the, the only thing I wasn't too sure about was if they like before. Remember, if you went to um obviously there was four spots on each map right. where you would find yeah. the, the obviously the vinyls and you could run to each one but each one of them would ha you could get the different vinyls from the same spot yeah is yeah. that i i wasn't too sure if that was the same thing that's happened now good question i don't know I yeah don't know. because i, I haven't I, gone I looking for them this season is it the yeah. same yeah thing? yeah this is i know i ran into a, a vinyl spawn today but it, it had already been grabbed, so somebody had already grabbed it. But it yeah, was in Victorson, in the station, in the usual on the bench, usual okay, place that you yeah. they, they yeah. always have been. So, so yeah. it's pro probably one of the new vinyls then that someone's it's, come and nicked. The only the <laughs> only likely, time yeah. uh, I've seen vinyls uh, since the update, it's always been the rigor mortis uh, from the original set, and I'm like, I have this one. <laughs> uh, the new stuff please yeah <laughs> this is gonna be Bad like luck. take longer and longer because there's all these other ones that you already have that have to cycle yeah. too yep. yeah, that's gonna be a fun yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly and then obviously the um the tutorial with obviously the new tutorial mode with the ai bots etc yep. um seen a lot about people saying if you want to learn obviously go into the tutorial mode and keep going in keep playing the tutorial mode over and over again and just keep shooting the bots yep if you don't want to get yourself killed and learn to shoot against them. Oh, to tutorial. learning for the shooting. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. There's the, I've seen a lot of people saying that. So I've seen a lot of um, new people coming onto Facebook saying, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting killed every time I go into a counter. How do I actually, you know, do something? And people are like, go into the tutorial mode. Keep going back in, back in. Learn to aim against the bots that are in there. So... Yep. Actually, I, was, I didn't even realize you could go back into the tutorial. Yeah, I never you can really replay. Yeah, 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 you can, can replay. Oh, okay. You can replay yeah. it over and over again if you want. <laughs> yeah. And, so yeah, that's the... cool because they like the original tutorial was very very basic and like yeah. it lacked some very key like mechanics. But some mechanics are new from mm -hmm. since that original tutorial, right? Like they actually give you a grenade now. And you could actually toss a grenade to the uh, AI bots, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. it's like that actually teaches you how to throw a grenade. So yeah. it, I think it, it's a good step. Uh, I've seen people like say like, oh my God, like, you know, we're going to get bots eventually or AI <laughs> in, in encounters, you know, next or whatever. And I'm, I'm like, I, I think we're still a ways away from that uh, yeah. because yeah. Like, there, there's a lot more uh, programming that has to be done for that to happen right if you have it at like even if you just have it at like a bard house or something like that uh th there's a lot of work that goes uh into that so well you gotta figure uh, it would server be cool capacity because they always had problems like that's why like i think part of it is the you know certain maps are like eight players certain maps are 12 players you go mm -hmm. too much above that then you start to I think, running into performance issues and so if you start adding yep. bots in there um yep. they'll really have to get everything optimized it and yeah. uh i i know i, I talked quite a bit of hunt showdown but uh at one point um i want to say two updates ago apparently they actually lowered the amount of ai uh to help with server performance um, okay. because there were some issues and apparently they uh they actually dumbed down or reduced the number of ai spawning in uh to help out with that so it, it is a matter of resources right so yeah 
Well, they just have to get like the kind of budget that Activision has for their Call of Duty, <laughs> right? Because they can have hundreds of bots on their maps. <laughs> Fortnite and all those big ones, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, no, but yeah, hopefully hopefully it's something that yeah, does come eventually because it is like one of the kind of things that's a little bit lacking, especially if you're in the single player mode. Um when it's when you're in the multiplayer like duos and trios, it's a lot more run and gun, and everyone's after each other, and you know, looking to have a fight. But in solos, uh, unless you have the sweats, you know, a lot of people I wouldn't say a lot of people, but there's quite a few people who are really out there to loot a bit, but also yeah, sure, get some combat, but not the same kind of um, thing as they, as you have with the duos and the trios, right? So yeah, having right. some bots added in there would make things a bit more fresh, like would make it a bit more interesting as long as they were good bots. Yep. You know, it's just some <laughs> bot like running into a wall that's, you know, that's no fun. <laughs> but <laughs> yep. yeah. 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 It'd be interesting um, to see yeah. um, bots sort of round the points of interest, right? So if you yeah. to yep. go to something, if they're sort mm -hmm. of guarding it or something like that, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So yeah. yeah like they're guarding what... something or something like that. Or yeah. Like, uh, I've even seen the idea of like having a bot as like an animal, like a deer or something like that, and then oh. you know you kill it, and then you get some food or whatever that you know either you, you harvest or, like, like yeah, <laughs> baby or like a wolf or something or like yeah you know uh, just to add something more to like an encounter where it's like maybe you harvest it and you bring it back to your shelter or maybe. I don't know. It's it's like a tiger, and you drink the blood, and you got tiger blood, and you're back at full <laughs> HP or something like that. Like, I don't know. Tiger blood. <laughs> you become Charlie Sheen all of a sudden. Is that? Yeah. 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 So I, was I don't know. I had to think about like some some kind of way to like kill you or something like that, and tiger tiger blood just came. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the public consciousness now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tiger yeah, blood. Let's go. Yeah. No, I I definitely would. It would be nice to see maybe some AI, like as he said, around like you know the the bard house, um, you yeah. know the time safe lock container, like so. Because obviously in um, uh, Grand Fine Valley, obviously sometimes the bard house is generally inside a house. If you yeah. had AI inside guarding the house mm. to stop you being able to get in, and obviously then you've also got your your everyday player obviously coming as well the house yeah. as well. It makes it even harder yeah. to get that loot. Obviously. Um, at the moment, even if you boost the loot in games, it doesn't affect what's really in the Bard House or anything at the moment. Like we, um, we were playing the other day on PlayStation, Dizzy, remember that? And mm. we boosted the maps up and then you'd go for the Bard House and there wasn't really much loot in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but if you say had AI in the house, you could make that loot more valuable to try get into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it'll make people go there, but then there'll be an even bigger fight for that loot. Yeah. yeah. That's make well, I guess more, it depends. Make it more interesting. Yeah. And I guess it depends on how they do loot distribution. If they say introduced AI um, bots and, and I don't know, either kept the same loot distribution or, or changed it up a bit, mm -hmm. then the, the bots also become part of the loot distribution because you could potentially yeah. loot the bots, right? Yeah, that would um, oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, because they're yeah, you yeah. can loot yeah. off of what they're carrying. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were just and I was also yeah, and you're talking about having them as part of the 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 points of interest. Um you could maybe depending on if you had different levels of AI, maybe um also introduce them as your new anti camping system. You know, it's something oh, spending right. a little yeah. bit too much time <laughs> in the yeah, yeah, area. The right. <laughs> Get a little patrol yeah. of uh, of of AI coming at you. Yep. Um, a set yeah, of there's... set of unkillable bots that just walk around <laughs> the exit. <laughs> so yeah, they, yeah. You, if you camp at an exit, they just they just start shooting you, but you can't shoot them back yeah. because they're. Yeah. Immortal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Terminator type thing. Like yeah. The yeah. T eight hundred. You start Robot. shooting them. They start. Yeah. They start becoming silver. It's like, wait a yeah. minute. They're not <laughs> human. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that would that would be quite a cool idea, actually. <laughs> yeah, it could be interesting. So I think it were a, a good couple of years away from that, but yeah, you yeah. Never know. I understand. Just a few. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that'd be good. That'd be good, definitely. But, 
but it, I think that's a lot of what they did, right? That's that was most of yeah, the, that's, uh, that, that's the, that's the, the big bulk bit. of it. Um, yeah. But it's, I, I got to say, I was pleasantly surprised about the vinyls popping in. Yeah. Uh, in the yeah. yeah I, I was as well. Be, because it's like, we didn't get any cassette lures or anything like that. Uh, and a lot of people were disappointed in that, right? Mm. No new collectibles, no lore or anything like that. And now, boom, it's like we have a new collectible to go out yeah. and try to, to get, right? And no one saw that coming. And the 4K yeah. also was yeah. something that, you know, we didn't really see. Uh, mm -hmm. coming and you know everyone kind of expected the lmg nerf at some point yeah uh and yeah, I, there's I was been really a lot of worried talk about that yes because like the community has been like pretty uh vocal about uh the lmgs and yeah. um there was a couple of dev streams ago uh like i i asked the question i'm like were the plan was to move all the weapon classes right to the new like uh mechanic framework for weapon shooting uh in recoil uh were we going to see like one weapon class pushed for this update like the 13.1 like are we going to get like say assault rifles done or uh, smgs or pistols or whatnot and uh the social uh whoever was running the vigor account on twitch said no, we're doing all the weapon classes and then we're pushing it out. We're not going to do one at a time. Mm -hmm. So I was a little disappointed because at the time, it's like, who knew how long it was going to take for, or who knows how long it's going to take to like push those updates to all those weapon classes. Uh, Cause I was hoping to get at least one, this update, because that way we would be one cl step closer to an LMG nerf because yeah. their plan yeah. was right. Update all those weapon classes. Then, see how it is with the machine guns and then do we need to nerf it more or not and yeah. so it, it was a pleasant surprise that they actually did nerf machine guns and pushed it out with this update instead of waiting for like all those reworks to actually get done and then wait and see right because potentially uh you know we are i want to say just above 80 days left in the season so oh. that's another like almost three months of like the current meta yeah and it it's like a lot of people don't like it right so i think with this nerf it actually helps it and you know it shows that you know they are listening 100 uh -huh. so yeah. and and they didn't stick to the plan where it's like we're just going to wait and see because who knows if they don't get all those weapon reworks done by season 14 like there there's going to be more players upset i i think than uh pe people joining so uh, I'm definitely glad to see that 13.1 actually yeah. had uh, one or the other, which we, in this case here was the LMG nerf. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's the same with like we're saying, like obviously, like the vinyls were unexpected as well. I, I, I mm -hmm. would have thought that they would have pushed that out with a uh, obviously the more major update. Yep. Um, uh, you know, because uh, everyone was saying that they loved. I mean, it was really cool that they actually added it mm, um, yeah. now. But I thought, like, my thought in my head was, were they actually maybe going to bring them out in 14? But mm -hmm. because they needed something to keep, you know, the community happy, maybe they, maybe it was just ready now. So they just pushed it straight in and was yeah. like, you know, we'll just add it now. You know, you know, we got... We got a smaller update. We like you say, we still got eighty plus days yeah. Um, yep. until the next mm -hmm. thing. You know, it's just this is going to keep something. Well, a, apart from the one community member we know of who's got them all already, <laughs> yeah, some of the other community members going to you know keep them interested in playing and looting. Yep. The and it's a proper collectible, right? As opposed to like yeah. the cassette yeah. tapes where you yeah. you had to get them just from the lootable events and it doesn't matter you always got the next one in the series right yes yeah so, you're actually going to find these yeah yeah, yeah it's exactly. going to take a while yeah, for yeah, most people yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh, like i was thinking about it too like it's actually pretty smart to add a vinyl because it's probably way easier to add vinyls because you're basically adding just like different variants of like yeah. an existing collectible instead of well, like yeah. creating a whole lore with new cassettes and everything like that so mm. it's like the, the mechanics or like the background is already there in place and just to add to it 
it's like, yeah, you need to update, like, you know, when you go into the collectible screen, you know, it's like rearranged, um, you know, you need to do like, get the soundtracks and everything like that. Uh, but it, I, it was a good move. Yeah. yeah and it's also, I love it. It also kind of opens up um, expanding on the other collectibles too, because now you have disco mm -hmm. file too. So yes. then, okay, well, now we can have fire starter too, and then you can have more lighters out there, yeah. right? And lighters are easy. It's just a new skin on a lighter. Just find where it's going to populate. You could have more trolls, I guess. Um, well, yeah. So for for the lighters and the, the trolls, it might be a little different because, like Wardog said, every map for vinyls literally has has four potential spawns I'm, that's I'm true they do four, but the i have five yeah. same like, spawns all the four, time yeah right yeah, so it, in that case it's a little easier i think but it, you're right it's maybe it's not a lot more difficult but um that that's what i think that's one reason why they went with the vinyls is yeah. uh, it's a lot easier right because they yeah. just literally spawn all at the same spot um, yeah and you just need one per encounter and like you know the locations there you just have to like randomly decide which one's going to be there so yeah because yeah. obviously with, with the trolls have specific locations i.e the fire troll you always find around a campfire the sea troll yeah, you'll yeah. find next to the sea the river trolls next to the river so if yeah. you start adding more trolls, trolls in, then obviously uh, you have locations. to put them in new locations but obviously where the yeah. the vinyls are like you say dj spencer they all they all spawn in that one point just randomly yeah. different yeah. vinyls so you can easily just add one implement one in and then just yep. add obviously the music to it yep. true so. i guess there's also the thing about i guess it depends on the music they bring out too they have to like mm -hmm. license or make the new music that they can throw in the game mm. um, uh, yeah i i have a feeling that the, isn't the music made by the the members of the team well, I think so, yes. I, that's for sure yeah, some yeah. of it was. I don't know if oh, all really? of it was. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, like the, they got a yeah. lot of talented sort of artists within the team or within Bohemia, and that's what I understood. And they've put them out. And obviously, recently they've put them out as a, a playlist as well. So you can actually listen to it all now, can't you? Oh, yeah. Outside of the game as well. Yeah. Oh, have they? Brilliant. Yeah. yeah um, Spotify. Have a Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. yeah, they have a, a video oh. playlist on there mm -hmm. that you can obviously get the music on the, from the vinyls yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Mm. I've seen this the Spotify list for like the ambient sound. Um, like it's like a soundtrack, but not uh the vinyl. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, um you might have a point. Maybe that maybe they're not on it. <laughs> maybe we should suggest <laughs> yes, they should. Well, the, maybe they have a separate uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they have a separate yeah. playlist. But I remember like at one point they did tweet it out that they it's like an ambient uh like playlist type thing. The you know, so all the background music you hear and stuff. Um I think it's been used in like trailers and whatnot, but um, yeah, no, I'm going to have to do, uh, check it out. Cause I haven't, like I said, I haven't found any of the new records, so I haven't really heard any of the new music. No, I have, I've seen a few people actually find them when I've watched in their streams, um, okay. but uh, yeah, they haven't played them through yet. <laughs> so I haven't heard them. <laughs> yeah. You just, you know, you I'm get really a little, curious. little sting, don't you? And they yeah. pick it up. I've heard that and I've heard yeah. different sounds, but I haven't okay. heard the whole, the whole, the whole song yet. <laughs> mm. looking forward to it. i'm really curious because before like yeah. there was you know there there are actually all of them are fairly good even even the weird little jingle bells one yeah <laughs> you know it's one of my favorites uh, one. <laughs> yeah no, it, it, it was still good like it was still like I, okay i won't turn that one off right you know yeah mm -hmm. um so that's kind of cool um okay so what now that we, we, we talked a little bit about bots you know what they could potentially do with that but what what is there anything that you guys um, have I, have thought about that you would like to see in the future of Vigor? Is there anything um, along those lines that you've ever um, toyed around with? Amongst uh, yourselves? Well, I, I think everyone has one thing on their mind when it comes to Vigor. Like everyone's been asking it for since the start, right? Everyone's talking about shelter. Yeah. Right. Like I, I would think a new would shelter upgrades, one. sure. It, uh everyone on everyone's mind type thing uh you know like i've seen the idea tossed around for so long right uh you know you have the dock with all the fishing stuff at the bottom like you know make that like a fishing spot uh, yeah. to get food or whatnot but like for, for me i i think kind of like long-sided and i'm like that's fine but what are you doing with all this food like they're 
is a, an overabundance of food. You know, most veteran players, you know, halfway through the shelter or maybe a bit more, it's like you're going to get your 10K food every week. So everyone mm -hmm. has like a huge stockpile. So it's yeah. like the food mm -hmm. donation stuff needs to be reworked too. So like to me, you know, doing the fishing thing is not like an easy win. Uh, you, you need to do something else than just like, you know, make it a shelter upgrade. So uh, like, I, like I, I've toyed around with some ideas of, uh, you know, shelter degradation, right? So it's like, you need to loot to keep some of the uh, shelter upgrades or components up and running type thing. Or, um, you know, maybe a new shelter uh, improvement would be uh, instead of like having just like chemicals and like wire, let's say to use it, you need to like combine two resources to yeah. make a special mm -hmm. resource to make that upgrade for whatever improvement. Um, like there, there's a ton of ideas out, out there, like, you know, craft queuing. Um, I don't, I don't mind the, queue, the, the crafting, but if that's a way of getting like an improvement done, do it um okay. like I, I don't know there, there's like it, it's just something that needs to be done and I, i'm i'm, I'm kind of curious like i don't know if what what if they never thought that vigor would come this far like what if they thought when they released vigor that they didn't think the game would survive like to this point down the line interesting really, point yeah didn't really think about right? that but it's almost yeah. like it's almost like predetermined lifetime for it already that's an interesting point I, exactly right yeah because like it's never been really on the roadmap you know we, we we talked about or they put out a roadmap saying like we're, we're going to have an end game uh, yeah. by the end of the year right um and I, i'm hoping like to me the end game was always finish your shelter right uh so but for me, if they're adding to the shelter, that's great. But they're just pushing the end game further down for me, which is fine. Like I, I still enjoy Vigor. I still play it, even though I'm done my shelter. Mm -hmm. But Same, yeah. to me, what is what is the end game other than that? Yeah, I don't understand. But um, yeah, I, I think shelter is probably number one for everyone. But sorry, I, I jumped in front of our guests. No, no, you're all right. No, that's all. That's all <laughs> it's good. Is. It gives us. Let's that. go. Give yeah, that sort of thought because I was sort of thinking when you were saying about new upgrades to the shelter, I think when I've ever discussed this with anybody else in the past, it's like you've got to have new materials for those new mm -hmm. upgrades because I've got lots of the current materials already stashed. So you're going to have to have yeah. new materials added. So like when you were saying yeah. about, say, for example, the fishing or something like that, you've got to have a think, well, what do I need? And you've said about combining two materials, but then you've got to think about, well, what do I need to make these new upgrades? And that was something that yep. I've always sort of thought about as well. Yep. But then... Yeah, because... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking... No, I was going to say like something like <laughs> fish, Fishing, like, you'd almost, you could almost use something like cloth or... Yeah. Or, or rope or something, right? Like something that... Exactly. You could make a net out of or whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You improve um, or, or if you're, you're combining a couple of things, then you could definitely go into new ways. Um, I do like DJ's thought of maintenance. So like yeah, once you finish your one. shelter, it starts to degrade and the effectiveness degrades and then you have to keep yep. maintaining it. That might be something it's sort of a, mm -hmm. and it's not, it, again, you're getting away from an end game. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's one of those games where it's hard to know. Is there like an end to the story, right? Like they keep coming yeah. out with these cassettes and these little stories, but is there an end? And yeah, it's hard to imagine what that might be. What happens when you hit it? Like, is that it? Then you'd have to like reset and start from scratch again. Like, yeah. Move yeah. shelters. That's what you have to do. Sort of like a new yeah. shelter. Prestige <laughs> system. Yeah, I talked about yeah. Prestige, yeah. Yeah, prestige systems, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, but then, uh, of DJ, you were saying a minute ago, I was just going back to the point where you said about, um, like your food, all the food yeah. and stuff like that. I, I, 
Uh, at the moment, obviously, you can, if you're higher up on your rat traps and stuff like that, you can get a, a, enough food in the week to donate 10k at the moment. Yep. But obviously, as a new player, you don't get that. Um, so obviously, um, you need to obviously build your rat traps up. You need to get your stuff out of the the, yep. the encounter. But I believe even at this point now, like even for veteran players, we should still be needing to take food out of the encounter. Because as a veteran player, mm. I never take food out of the encounter anymore. Nope. Because I know in my shelter I can create enough yeah. to get yeah. those boxes. Uh, in my personal opinion, and not a lot of people are probably going to like this, but they should reduce the rat traps low so that you can't make enough food. So then you still, even as a veteran player, need to take food out of the encounter. That will prolong the life of the game for the newer players as well because yep. they're going to ne need to take less materials out because they're also going to need to take out that yep. food as well. So obviously their, their spaces within their boxes are going uh, to be taken up by food as well. So then that would have prolonged the life of the game even more in a way. Yeah, And I'll another... Thing you could even think of a spoilage system like you're holding on to all this food um how long is the food going to stay fresh for you know or yeah. even you know even if it's frozen even frozen yeah, food on. eventually it, goes it's bad it's all pickled it's all pickled <laughs> <laughs> it's all doing his job you gotta start planting vinegar we That's need it. vinegar. We're gonna, we're gonna get <laughs> yeah. the glass jars. We're, we're gonna get the vinegar <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, like like for for me, War Dog, like when you talk about veteran players with the the food and stuff, like for for me, food still has a purpose uh, because at this point, look, I'm not done the battle pass, and it gives you like some of the best XP. XP so that's yeah. why I'm good still, XP forgetting. Yeah, that's, good that's XP. That's why I'm yeah. still looting food, right? But mm -hmm. at the same time, food is sometimes the first thing I delete. Same. Uh, yeah, depending on it's the, the it's always the but, first thing I yes. delete. Well, because there's like, no, you don't get any XP for taking it out. You only get the XP for exactly. picking it up. So, yeah. so oh, the, yeah. like I do, still kind of loot it and whatnot. But um, yeah, yeah, no, it, and and it's hard. Like part of the issue too is at this point you have so many players that have finished their shelters, but at the same time you want new players to come in mm. and still feel that you know they could. I maybe not compete but like they're not just going to get like trampled by players who have been around for so long right mm -hmm. um so so like every decision you can't just look at it like a, like in one way you have to basically look at it from like a veteran player or like a newer player or even like someone who's been playing halfway you know they're halfway through the shelter or whatnot um and and part of the issue too is like you look at the game, there are some like you know even streamers. I know I know there's some people who don't stream, but they will play this game like eight plus hours a day, which is yeah. great for them. But mm -hmm. like for the casual person who doesn't have the the time, you know maybe they have life commitments, they work. Like personally, like I get maybe two two and a half hours of game time a, a night type thing. I can't you know I can't play the game eight hours a day. You know, it's great that they extended the battle pass to 75, but like you're still seeing those players who just grind the game eight plus hours a day. They're done within like two, three weeks or whatever the battle pass. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now it's like you have people who were completing the 50 level battle pass, uh, you know, with some time left. Uh, like for the 75, like I finished it with like two weeks left i think so it's like it was cutting it a little close compared to before um so it, it's yeah it like every decision is kind of tough uh because you have to balance everything um yeah and and i i kind of brought this up um maybe the last episode or the previous one um like i i don't know if vigor has an executive producer kind of like leading the charge or if it's just like a decision making by group type thing. Um, because like since Clofi left, I don't think there's been an announcement. So it, it I'm kind of wondering like who's making the decisions and do we need, or I say we as if like we're part of like 
the, the other team, but no, not, but like, do, does Vigor need someone at the helm guiding everything um, instead of like group decisions type thing? Yeah. So, who's steering the boat? I guess is yeah. Know, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't, don't even know that myself. So <laughs> no, I was thinking the same. It, it, yeah, yeah. I, I've 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 asked I've asked uh kind of uh, quietly a few partners type thing, and uh, no one seems to actually know type thing. So I'm I'm kind of thinking that like, you know, there's obviously uh, you know, a number of producers, uh, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Period. Yeah. Join. Yep. Uh, you know the the producers uh, along with uh, Philip and I'm trying to think of the other one, uh, but there there's at least three of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it you know it it it's good, but do we have someone who makes the final decision and kind of like Doc said steers the boat type thing? Yeah, and I'm wondering if that's kind of like delaying some of the major uh, decisions and whatnot. I think they just um, talked about. Oh no, it's a developer interview. Not. Oh no, producer yeah. Zora is also a producer. Mm. There we go. So. Yeah, I remember seeing something about a producer recently in one of their uh, communications, one of their emails. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So. Okay. <laughs> It's uh, thinking, I think. Yeah, 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 I'm, like, yeah. I'm like asking all these deep questions. It's like 3 a.m. your time, or no, wait, you're a little later now. It's only just gone no, three, you're right. Yeah, it's yeah, just gone three. three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, it's, well, it's definitely interesting. We have another, obviously, as we said, 80 days, 80 plus days to go on this yeah. season. And until the next one, um, mm -hmm. and they haven't announced anything different so I, as far as changing up the whole three seasons a year or three updates That's a year true. schedule. They, they didn't sort of say that that was definitely the way they were going forward. They said that's what we had for this year. Yeah. So we don't know that that's going to be for every year. But yeah, you're that's right. That's true. It hasn't been it hasn't yeah. been announced any different. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And, the only and hope. like, yeah, we we've had like the content updates this season, right? Because we had the uh, the Halloween update, and then we've had the thirteen point one uh, for let's say the November update, and then for yep. December, I'm assuming like we already have the Winter Wonderland. Yes, so that, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The maps. I'm yeah. At some point, we're going to get snowballs back uh, in eliminations Ooh. if we haven't had it back yet. Yeah. yeah, I wonder how the new eliminations will be with snowballs now. That'd be that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, because that was the uh, the one hit, wasn't it, as well with the snowballs. <laughs> but then yeah. this oh isn't God. really a snow map. No, that's snowballs. Yeah. yeah, snowballs. Yeah. The new meta because literally, one machine gun done. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> Just running around with a pack of snowballs. Yeah. Yeah. So, so but do you think mud balls? Chris the Christmas update is already there, sitting there, waiting to go. Do you think it's I already think, in this? Do you yeah. think it's already in this update? I think it is. Yeah, I think, I think so I think too. I reckon a push of the button, and then yeah, that's what know, I feel. Santa Claus comes out of the sky. Like, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, we were having a discussion the other day um, as well, uh, Dizzy, about yes, how we would like the the presents and stuff. We want that back, back where everything's the, all the loot's wrapped. The, all up. the loot was I wrapped up, that. and you had yeah. the, the the presents in the bin, the yeah. wrapping paper in the bin. Yeah, and the red little jingle, up. and you looted it. <laughs> I loved all that. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that was before because i don't think they did that the first year I, I played i think that was already the previous year maybe but i'm not sure no i think that was I, just that was two years ago was the, two years yeah, ago that's right yeah, yeah two years yeah. ago the, the when i first started playing that's when they had that in and then obviously yeah. the next year they didn't they didn't have yeah. the present wrapping in and yeah. all all that lot. and i was yeah i was a little bit disappointed by that <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was as well obviously well i'm assuming it took up more, more to do yeah. it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they should they should sell the wrapping paper in the merch store as well, shouldn't they? Oh Is my it? god, there they you had, go. They had different types of wrapping paper depending on what was wrapped up as well, didn't they? Which yeah, I thought yeah. was quite good. <laughs> oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it matched kind of what was inside, because yeah. all the all the chemicals were done like in the uh, 
it's like decorated bottles, weren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah, kind of cool. Going back to um, like, like what you said, Dr. Anton, about the snowballs in, in Fisk. Would, yeah. there, would, there, would it really be because Fisk <laughs> isn't a, a, a snowy map? Where are you yeah. getting your snow, Rob? It'll have, to have, it'll have to have some snow sprinkles on it for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's gonna have to the snow there, right? Uh, <laughs> to, to be fair too, they also took away the snowballs from Anakin when the season was done, and it's literally covered in snow. <laughs> Way <right>? snow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think one map should have it all the time? Uh, maybe uh, during the snow, during the Fisk maps, you could have a cooler that you carry around with you. Get the <laughs> 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 Go, go, go to a freezer at one end and collect them, sort of thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just running around. Maybe they just like thing. yeah, spring, sprinkle some snow on like Fisk or whatever like that. Make it look a little patches of snow somewhere, and then boom, call it done. Yeah, snowballs. It's not, it's just a snow know. machine at one end, just firing. Yeah, out. there you go. <laughs> uh, I wonder how hard that would be. Like make every map a snow map. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be hard, wouldn't it? I mean, but that's it. Mm. When when um, when the battery. Snow that came out, and the, the time I think because that was a, a pet project of one of the developers, wasn't it? They sort of did it in their oh, own really? time, and then they sort of progressed a bit quite a lot. Then it got you know brought in properly to be finished and then put in. Oh, oh wow, that's cool! That's, that's my cool. understanding, anyway. That's my understanding, yeah. So, yeah. Well, and that was sort of like the same with the dam, like kind of right? It was a I don't know about a pet project, but it was one developer mainly working on the dam. Yes, that's right. For the longest time yeah. before that's they made right. it into an actual map. So it's yeah. kind of cool little things like that. So it makes, it makes you wonder what else is in the background that could eventually yeah. come out, but who knows how long we'll have to wait, I guess. Could that's one forever. of the things that I've <laughs> always liked, though, is that because we, we always ask in the dev streams about new maps, and they say yeah. they're working on them, so... There must be something going on in the background. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's that. That's one of the main focal points of the whole community is new maps. Everyone yeah, loves yeah. a new map, and everyone yeah. every season always asks for a new map. Is there a new map? Yeah. Is there a new map? <laughs> every season, it's like every dev stream is the same question. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is. Is nerf? Question mark. New map? Yes, question mark. <laughs> Always the same yeah. Noob shield yeah. question mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's that's become actually quite less. I see a lot less of the whole oh noob God. shield thing now. W was it the was it the last dev stream? I saw someone who's in the top ten actually complain about it. Really? Oh. And I was like, "Are you kidding me? Like you're literally you're in top ten kills, and I don't know if they're in top ten encounters, but they do. Obviously, they play a lot. Yeah. And you're going to yeah. complain about noob shield? Like, I'm sorry. Least, effect, yeah. least affected by it, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, if, if you are, if you're like trying to be sarcastic in your chat, I'm like, sarcasm doesn't translate through like not free text, uh, no, yeah, no, no, like, no. no it, it, and oh is it like somebody who's like in the top ten, but they figure, oh, nobody could possibly be able to kill me that easily yeah. as, 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 as a newbie as a guy in a green well, coat comes out no, one shots me that or, is literally what he said them. yeah oh really yeah, literally what he said doc, doc is ah. <laughs> um so this is yeah so obviously going on to this i so this is quite funny so i was watching a streamer the other day who had come over from cod who was a brand new player obviously to vigor and they they had managed they they were really re considering that they were brand new to figure they were really really good and he was like oh yeah this is like my sixth encounter in and or, or no was it sixth he was definitely up against some you know more veteran players i've yeah. noticed the names that were in his lobby anyway mm -hmm. and he managed to he managed to get i think five kills in that game and wow. obviously with his low encounters obviously the veteran players that are in there or the people that I, yeah. I've seen a lot of are probably go, obviously like the all saying the noob shield, this person's, you know, got this, but they don't actually realize this person's actually really, really good at the game, yeah. even though he's brand yeah. new to the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like they, they uh, someone just played this game for the first time and they got five kills. They've never played a video game in their life. How is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? Oh my god! Come on! Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was speaking I was just speaking to them and they were like, Yeah, I've I've played just started playing this game, you know, it's brilliant. I really love it. Um, yeah. you know, I love the the way it, it is and yeah, getting that many kills as a, a brand new player to the game, it makes you have to think yeah. twice whether or not the people you're actually coming against are, you know, some yep. 14, 15 yeah. year old kids who've never, you know, played a shooting game in their life, or if they're someone who's been playing COD for ten years. And knows how to shoot, knows how to aim yep. a controller properly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I saw that the new COD, I think the Warzone at least, um, I think there was like one of the things they mentioned that there's a third person mode as well. I'm not 100% uh, sure, I but think there's something coming. about third person. It's coming. Okay. Yeah, I think it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Understanding. So yeah. I'm, like, I'm kind of curious how that'll be COD in third person, like how that, how the, how well it'll, it'll translate. Yeah, I, um, I I prefer a third person game. So th like Vigor, for instance, that's why I like playing Vigor because it's third person. Like Fortnite, I like playing Fortnite. I, that's a third person game. Yeah, Although yep. playing COD today, I was actually even kind of enjoying it in the first person. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends yeah. on how they do the first person because like I, yeah. it feels different maybe, and maybe because COD has always been a bit more video gamey. But like if you played something mm -hmm. like Tarkov and you and it's first person, it, it, it even though they're both first person games, it's just a very different experience. And yeah, part of yeah. because we think COD, it it has the stuff like the mini map, it has all all your little things on the screen. Where you have something yeah. like um, Tarkov, there's very little on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a lot more realistic. So it's just what you see, mm -hmm. or if you have a helmet or whatever's on affecting your vision, then that's what you see. But third, first person in COD, because of those extra little elements, feels not so bad. You know, it doesn't feel too bad yeah. to me. Yeah, because I've been yeah. playing a little bit of the new yeah. one as well. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the only person who hasn't had a chance to try it is DJ. He's he's reticent to, to, to download it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I downloaded it, uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, like... For them to like, you know, say the DMC is going to be like a looter shooter extractor. I it's... don't know. I, I ask questions to, yeah. to like streamers and like, you know, a lot of them just say like it's COD, but in different mode. But I'm like, what's the point of looting? And they're like, they don't have an answer. Like, there's no mm. point in looting. Like, you um... loot to get better weapons in the game and whatnot. But like to me there's no shelter there's no no yeah like yeah, okay. so, so to me what's the point like long term it's like okay yeah you can play this for like a week and like what have you really done like it's literally just playing cod a di different mo game mode essentially which i'm not gonna lie i i've said it before i i'm not interested in cod like uh, the movement yeah. and everything like that like i don't know like you guys have all played it I mm -hmm. haven't. I've watched it, but the movement seems very uh, like similar to like COD, uh, where it's quick moving and whatnot. Yep. To me, that's not tact. Like it's not tactful. It, it's not what a looter shooter should be, in my opinion. So it, okay, that's yeah. why I'm a little dissuaded from actually trying it or mm -hmm. playing it because, like, if people are literally still going to just run around, it's like. Uh, I'm not interested. It's well, there, there are the different levels though, because it's no different really than bigger when you think about duos and trios. Mm -hmm. Duos and trios, a lot of it is running around trying to find other duos and trios to get into fights with them. Um, mm -hmm. This is just taking it to another extreme because you have tons of bots, right? So it's, um, yeah. but there are objectives, like they have different missions that you progress mm -hmm. through. Um, there's safe houses that you want to try to get into like strongholds. So the mission system is, is, mm -hmm. is interesting and makes it, you know, makes it engaging. Um, you're right. And, and it's sort of like hunt in that way. Um, what you bring out of the, uh, is that you don't really, well, you bring weapons out, you bring stuff out and it can affect your further, um, plays. As long as you don't die, then you will start, you have a better chance of starting with better gear like a better backpack, a better armor plate mm -hmm. carrier, um, whatever weapons you bring out um, for your the contraband stash. Um, 
adds to you have more choices um but then they have the insurance weapons like they have these mm -hmm. this whole insurance system yeah. where you can take a, a really good gun um uh, the thing and if you die you only lose access to the gun for a, a short time mm -hmm. but then you could get it back their insurance system is very different from like vigor or um mm -hmm. uh tarkov's oh, insurance tarkov, system yeah. yeah where tarkov is like you pay for insurance and maybe you'll get it back if no one else yeah. finds it <laughs> that's it and vigor is you pay Which, for insurance and you definitely get it back you know yeah, it's yeah. Like, honestly when when i found out about how that how insurance works in cod i actually kind of like that okay yeah i i do i did kind of like that uh instead of like because you know back in the day duping was a big issue uh you know doing something like that would somewhat delay it but um i i like the fact that you know it's like you're still there's some consequences to dying because you're not going to instantaneously get your weapons back or whatnot so um, yeah i yeah. i do kind of like that idea it's a but, neat system you know. and the more you successfully extract after if say you die in, you have a thing the more you successfully extract after reduces the time so you can get your weapon back faster so that's also interesting it's it's a good idea mm. they still have a lot of work to do because it is a beta so mm, um, yeah. i expect that there'll be a lot of changes to it yeah um mm. but uh it, it's a different enough game that i could see myself playing it on occasion right i'll have my i'll vigor i'll, I'll still keep i'm gonna keep playing hunt I'm, i've started trying that one out and i'm it's an interesting i like that one too Mm -hmm. But again, it's the same kind of thing. You're extracting, but then once you're extracted, there's no shelter. There's no, there needs, there's nothing there for you to build on. Mm -hmm. um, so it's sort of like those extractions that are like ex extraction light almost, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 100%. What are your thoughts? Say, how would you feel as if like Vigor would be in the first person? How do you think that would change up the game? Because at the moment, obviously, it's in third person. Yeah. Yeah. How how would it change the game up if it was first person? Your would field it... of view. 100%. Yeah. Because Just looking yeah. around things, yeah. Yeah, obviously. And not know, even obviously, looking yeah. around, but seeing how much you can see. Because when you're in your first person, you're yeah. like, yeah. You, you see that and that. Um, when you're third person, you're seeing your guy. Yeah. So you can see around your guy a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Um and the whole shoulder thing with Vigor is nice because you can change your shoulder view, so it's yeah. easier to peek yeah. around corners. Yeah. Yeah. I find with COD, and I don't know, is there a leaning system in COD at all? I yeah, thought I, I saw it. So. I thought there well, was. When you get near I enough to something, you can lean, yes. So if you're yeah. near Okay, so object, you have to be you near something. Lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I seem to remember that from old COD then. Okay. Um, but it's not something that's automatic. You can't just look around a corner unless you're really close to it. So it's that's right. Yeah. there's that little awkwardness there. Mm -hmm. um so vigor does have that beat like having like yeah. you don't lean but you can change your shoulder and yeah, and because yeah, you're yeah. third person it's easy to see around a corner so yeah yeah so i don't yeah. know if vigor went first person it would definitely change the the dynamics a lot just because your field of view yeah. would be so much smaller yeah i would i would like obviously like you say like cod does like the whole lean-in system I would like, kind of might like to see that in Vigor as well when you're behind a wall and you can mm. just lean out mm. and stuff like that. I wonder how or if you're in first works. person mode, the ability yeah. to lean. Yeah. Like if you're in, yeah. in yeah. your sights up. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. If you were ADS and you could just, you know, lean out of a wall or whatever. Yeah. Instead of having to pop your whole body out. That would be might interesting. I don't know how you would do it. Well, then the shoulder buttons could be the lean because yeah, when you're yeah. when you're in ADS, ADS, it's not, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There we oh, go. No, we're, we're coming up with stuff. Up <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Like, I, I was going to say like I don't know if I'd play bigger if it was first so person because it'd be like it's so different, and I'm like I don't like first person, but then I'm like I play hunt, and I'm like that's first person, and I'm like yeah, I contradict yeah. myself. Yeah, he's right. And we got we got blurry war dog now. We yeah, have got blurry. I don't know how to change my camera to from blurriness to non blurriness. It's like it focused in on something and then hasn't auto focused out. Oh, I think it's coming yeah. back. Oh, there you go. It's coming it's back. back. Oh, a little bit. 
He's back. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I lean forward. My camera does some. I don't know how to turn that off. But, right. We're staying, we're staying here. We're not going forward. <laughs> yeah. It's always something when I come on here. Last time I, last time I pulled my, my yeah. wire out my headset. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. I remember, yeah. <laughs> this time blurry camera. Oh, well. At least it wasn't for the whole the whole time. It was just yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Split second, like, where's Wardog? It's like, he's, he's in the witness protection program. We're not allowed to show where <laughs> Wardog actually is right now. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, did you have anything you wanted to throw in there, uh, DJ? No, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's like, you know how there's some games that like, are, are good because of the way it is it's like the same mean, thing yeah. with bigger i i can't picture bigger being first person yeah like i i just i just can't yeah i don't almost, i know what you mean i was just an idea yeah, yeah just throwing it out there yeah discussion yeah yeah discussion I, I've, I've i've seen some people like throw it out there but what and you like, see those people it, um, like I, I've seen those streamers who very much in in gunfights almost always stay in ADS. Like quite mm -hmm. often, I'll, I'll yeah. see like running around in, in ADS for their gunfights, and it's like I, I I couldn't do it. That just it seems so wrong no. to me. You know, like to, to yeah. be taking my AR, AR close up and, and being you know it's too much of a yeah. uh, have a hard enough time aiming as it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's how I used to play Vigor when I first started. Yeah, was ADS everything. Yeah. And, it, yeah, and it was only after there was a change to how the ADS worked, there was a big change that I started having to learn to do it the other way. Mm -hmm. And okay. now I very rarely ADS, <laughs> unless I do it accidentally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but even that, just be that I would hit that by, by accident all the time. But now I've gotten to the point where I don't think I ever accidentally hit it anymore. Oh, I still do. It just takes you a couple of years. I had to remap it. I had to remap I know you did. It. Otherwise, I was just going in and out every gunfight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never have that trouble. I always just have the trouble where if I'm in a, you know, with my SVD and I'm in ADS. Yeah. And then you you go, yeah. you, you know, to your normal rifle, and then you go You'll to shoot that. someone that's still in <laughs> ADS. We, yeah. um, I know I do. I want it to change. <laughs> so when you come sense. out of your gun, it reverts back to you know third person. You, yeah, you should have been a locket for each gun type, shouldn't you? If yeah, you know, yeah, or each gun type. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah, because like, be really same nice. thing too. Like I, I would do like a little tweak too, where it's you know different guns have different firing modes, and it's like H bar starts off with uh, single fire, and it's like no, no, I need this in burst, like by yeah. default, yeah. right? Like personal preference. It's like hmm. let me choose the firing mode for all the weapons type thing would be fantastic to tweak my, your favorites basically yeah, yeah, makes yeah sense. That's... pretty much same thing with the svu svu is by default on single fire and you know i love it on on the, the full auto so yeah yeah i'm the same like it's um well obviously the bugle i i'm a fan of the bugle at the moment um but i've I've started to play with it in full auto more than mm -hmm. okay more than more than burst oh. fire because I've now I'm actually starting to learn to even in full auto that I can burst fire it at distance. Mm -hmm. yep. Um but then for those close up encounters, you can hold the trigger down and obviously yep. instead of you know it's a, a bit of a kerfuffle when you're trying to, you know tap that trigger and you're close yeah. up to someone yeah it's a lot it's easier a to fire the bugle in full auto close up yep so if you've always got it in auto you know long range tap close up just hold the trigger down and um, i figured that's more of a a play style for me now yeah and you know what's interesting is i the first time i noticed people using the bugle in full auto is after the playstation release uh -huh. Like, yeah. Oh. A lot of the PlayStation streamers, uh, or the ones that do run the Bugle uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit, uh, I'd always see them like running it in full auto, and I'm just like my boggled. Like, what are yeah. you doing? Like, 
<laughs> you not know how good like the burst mode yeah. is on this thing? And that, that's pretty much exactly what they said was, uh, you know, close up is like, that's where you want it on full auto. And it's like, for me, never even came to mind. Yeah. I'm like, no. But like, hey. I don't think I've ever tried it really? on full auto. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just crazy. Like, the 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 different play styles from different consoles yep. like obviously when mm. playstation wasn't on vigor you would see the play styles of the the mm -hmm. xbox players there was always a lot further distance gunfights yeah but when the playstation yeah. came on and obviously there was playstation streamers you noticed a lot of the playstation players liked the close-up push Actually, they would push yeah and and go and go in i would uh, you know you you get that the, the thing called the wiggle where you know people yep. like that and then they come up to you at close range that wasn't a huge thing before the but i know g40 had you know the g40 yep. wiggle he would love doing that yeah um you know a tt gets him he does that little yeah, I, can't, I, can't, the... I can't i can't do the wiggle <laughs> i can't do the wiggle but i have noticed now that yeah ever since playing on the playstation as well and and you know i've i've come accustomed to that style as well of mm -hmm. you know because actually getting up real close to someone is a lot easier to win a battle than that far distance and yep. i've learned that from the playstation side of things <laughs> yep. more than anything yeah especially with it and that's where i think this whole the the whole matter of the the lmgs comes into it as well if you've got a such a high powered weapon with no bloom and you know and then you've got everyone coming in at you with a hundred rounds mm -hmm. you know it's an unstoppable machine yeah which i understand yeah. is why obviously everyone wants you know the the nerf of it as well back to i kind of want it back to just how it used to be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they overcorrected and made them too good. And yeah, <laughs> better than they should have been. Like you know, LMGs or you know, standing up, standing up, you shouldn't be able to do that sort of movement. Laying yeah. down, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Like you don't yeah. see someone running through the desert, or you know, uh, an army soldier running through the desert with an M two four nine. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you always see him laid down behind sandbags or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it made kind of made I, no I, sense, but. I'm not gonna lie, this may be like uh, controversial, but I honestly would not even cry if they removed uh, machine guns completely out of bigger. Mm -hmm. Like maybe okay. that's like going to the extreme type thing, but honestly, it's like I would not shed a tear um, if they left the game. Okay. I, I don't know if like you guys what you guys would think of that, but it, it's like honestly, like you just gave an example, right? Like literally machine guns should be basically like you're down on the ground with a machine gun, it's stationary and firing that way. And currently it's not like that. And and honestly, if, if there was a post apocalyptic Norway would there actually be many machine guns around? I don't know. You'd have to find, no, like, a weapon cache somewhere. No, you don't, like, even if there was a real, like, you know, post apocalypse, mm -hmm. there definitely wouldn't be people running around. They would be stationed on certain yeah. sections, wouldn't they, of their, yeah, yeah. you know, their, yeah. their strongholds, as the, you know, the yep. Yep. you know, up on pillars, you know, pointing down, yep. not someone running across a bridge jumping off the side of a bridge and shooting someone below it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. There'd be nothing but yeah. AR-15s out there, at least in North America. Yeah. 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 To be fair... Mm -hmm. um, Bump stocks. Yeah. I would yeah. probably get rid of a lot of the weapons. Uh, you know, the, this, this game is probably one of the only games with such a high amount of different yeah, weapons. Huge amount of weapons, yeah. And you know, every every season there's a you know, there's a generally a new weapon added. Yep. Um problem is when 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 how far can you go? How many weapons can you have in one game? Like yep. yeah. a lot of the time I uh, I come across most of the games, most people are using roughly the same weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot That's of the smaller weapons, you know, the, the when do you see a gal? The only time you see a gal is if it's a new player generally. 
And they usually have four weapons. They'll have a gal. Yeah. A Visa Fifty Eight. Yeah. Exactly. Like uh, you know, there's yeah. a lot of the weapons you see in there hardly get used, apart from yeah, you know, yeah. The, the normal ones, the AKs, the the LMGs, obviously, bugles. Uh, even even now to the point where I hardly see the SG One anymore. No. I will come across the no, SG One yeah, very yeah, rarely. Yeah. You know, once in every 20 games, 30 games, maybe yeah. someone will have one. You know? Yeah, it's usually that like is. the Bugle, AKM, yeah. M16, uh -huh. um, and then whatever LMG is the flavor for that particular thing. And then the new new players with whatever gray gun they just happen to have <laughs> that, that they haven't, you know, run out of yet. So yeah. That, yeah. that's one, one like data set I would love to see. Like actual. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like. Mm -hmm data set of like weapon frequency like you know christopher beast and uh, the group at vsl like you know they do uh their own research type thing uh but yep. it's like it's only in the games that they're in and yeah. it's like it's great to see those numbers and like it does kind of like you always do see like the most popular ones right in in yeah. their numbers but it would yep. be cool to see like you know what are the least used weapons or whatnot uh and then like you know divided per, by like which map and whatnot and then it's like like you said war dog we have i think we're like close to 70 weapons give or take a few mm -hmm. at what point is it unmanageable like i think that's part of the reason why they're doing the rework of like the recoil system and uh, the firing system is to make it more manageable but yeah. at the same time it's still 70 weapons like you said like at one point do they just say, okay, you know what, we're done? Or do they come out with the idea of maybe we're vaulting 20 weapons uh, for this season or this month or this week or something like that to mm -hmm. try to get people to use other weapons or whatnot? Yeah. Um, and they've know. done it, that in the past. I'm not, and the, usually I think the reason they vaulted weapons in the past is because they've had issues with them. And so they took him away and then brought him back eventually, I believe. I could be wrong. Like, wasn't the Remy or, or was it a different shotgun that had shown up no. early on? There was a shotgun, I thought, but there was others as well. A, a lot of the guns were out before full release. Yeah. And yeah. They came back. So that's maybe what you're thinking. Yeah. But I don't remember. Lash, that was, the Lash, one. was the one. It's oh, maybe it's that one. Oh, did, it, yeah. did that stop for a bit? Oh. Yeah, I think it was. Because yeah. I think Bobby had tweeted out at one point that... Um, when it came back, he was excited because he had loved it in the, the pre-release or something like that. And uh, he was glad to see it back in the game. But, not. but, but I was just saying a few of the guns were in before. Oh, before. yes. So even like the, like uh, the KS-23 was in there before and then it came back. Oh, and, really? Yeah. So a lot of them had been. But that's what the, wasn't it like the grenades as well? Wasn't the grenades mm -hmm. in the, the, in the, the they obviously they, they had issues with them, so they took them out, took them out, and eventually, yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. And that was a lot longer, back. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, like, I heard tales that it was like a common, and so like you would just like see a bunch of grenades <laughs> spammed. <laughs> well, I'm like, what it when it, when I first played it, it was before you had the blueprints and you had to collect multiples of the guns then break them down to, into parts to then make the, the blueprints so i used to find bits of grenades to make up a grenade before i could actually take one out into an encounter oh. so that's how it used to work you used to you used to um have to like like you'd have to find multiple guns of the same type and then right. do i keep it do i keep it to bring it into an encounter or do i get enough to break them down to then unlock the ability to make it. And that was a decision you had to make. And that was the same with the ah. grenades. You, you could find parts and then like, okay, do I do I use yeah. it? Or do I keep it to break it down so I can make more in the future? So mm -hmm. that was the difference. But yeah, I never used it personally, but I'd seen uh, a grenade thrown at the drop. And I don't know if it was a drop or the person's death crate, but it just disappeared. Just flew off. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something. So that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Hence well, the reason like... they were they took a little bit of a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well, they had issues like that. Even I remember uh, during shootout, there was uh, I don't know what what update it was. 
but there were some really weird ha things happening in shootout where people would just go flying off into the sky. Yeah, and it was. I, I think uh, I think that was when they reworked the the rewards yeah. for shootout that season. That really yeah, I think it was the same season, wasn't it? Yeah, when I'm they're still trying to make sure shootout more popular. Yes, yeah. in it doesn't that still happen every now and again? I'm pretty I sure see a little hopping, but not levitating out into yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sort of thing. Yeah. Because yeah, sometimes yeah, you used to spawn in the sky, didn't you? Yeah. And, just be and like, then yeah, <laughs> people would farm the kills. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I think yeah. that I'm, I'm pretty sure that happened in. It still happened once or twice in season thirteen oh, in eliminations. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was tagged in a TikTok a um, couple of weeks ago where someone spawned up in the sky and people thought they were cheating. <laughs> they were, they were, they, 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 they were, they were shooting down, and then all of a sudden, they would just drop out the sky, and they were just dead because of that. <laughs> <well. laughs> Somebody actually shot where their yeah. body really was, and it killed yeah. them. Who knows? But yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, it could have been a graphical thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've could definitely be. seen that in the last couple of weeks. And um, but I think the idea of um of vaulting like weapons for seasons would be interesting. Like so, each season would have a different collection of weapons available for the season. Yeah. Um, the only issue I yeah. can see is if people have bought skins for those guns. Yeah. Yeah, using their crowns, obviously, too. You, yeah. You'd almost have to make it like not a full season. Like maybe yeah. it's like monthly or something yeah. like that. Or a rotating thing, you know, like like yeah. um, yeah. they do with the map, sort of. Not not like in a day, but a week or or whatever every every week yep. it'd be a different rotation of what's available mm -hmm. yeah. because who's making guns like i i only time i ever craft any guns is if i have a challenge that says craft this many machine guns and then i find yeah. the ones i have parts for craft them and then that's it i never make a gun like put it in the queue no that's not anymore not, not, not for a time, time. It, it boggles my mind when i see a post on reddit twitter anything where someone's complaining about crafting, let's say, an SPD for 12 hours. It's like, are you mad? Do you not know how easy it is to get weapons in this game? Like, it is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> ridiculous how easy it is to get a gold tier weapon. And you're crafting one? I'm like, you need to watch a podcast or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tune in. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you recommended it, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, it drives me mad when I see stuff like that. It's like, or it, maybe they're just stubborn and they literally just run that weapon. And it's They'll like, only run the one weapon, weapon right? yeah. Like, diversify. Like, like, I've said it before. You need, like, a good pool of, like, say, four or five weapons where you're, like, competent at and you're not, you know how to use it. You can't just use a single gun. Come on. Like, we have <laughs> 70 weapons in here. You're playing with one? Come on. <laughs> like, Challenge yourself. Play. Start using some of the less, you know, the ones you're not so good with. Uh, it's a like, seasonal challenge, you say. They've encouraged people to use one gun to get yes, Well, it. there you go. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the reason I'm using the bugle right now. Is because well, I was I just thinking the challenge. same in my head, yeah. yeah. I just actually I have others. I, I've yeah. completed my bugle challenge yet. Yeah. Probably for the last two weeks, I'm still using the bugle, even though I should. Really, <laughs> yeah, I should really be going probably like using yeah. um, the the Remy because yeah. that's one of the challenges, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I've got that yeah. one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe I should start using that yeah. from now. On. You know, yeah. the 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 contact bombs one. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, killing I people with the consumable it. or yeah, yeah, killing someone with a contact bomb, which I see obviously like a ghoulie. Um, oh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, he cracks me up. You know, I think to myself, wow, that is, you know, uh, contact bombing and exit. I think, wow, that's, you know, such a, <laughs> you know, so a right, thingy, so <laughs> yeah, one of those moves you like, you know, you frown upon, but actually, that's the only way you're pretty much going to get one of those contact bombs. Oh, no, 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 you put a transmitter and then you put three contact bombs around it in a bush. Yeah. Know. That sometimes if massive. you're lucky someone Actually, will come looking for it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, well yeah but that's why you put it in a location where it's probably going to get pinged instead yeah. of like yeah. just on the edge of the map or yeah. uh one of my favorites uh which i was actually shocked it worked i put a jammer near someone and i put my contact bombs around it and the the jammer is way louder than a transmitter so they didn't even they went to go like destroy the jammer and then boom <sighs> And I was like, yeah. oh my God. I'm like, I didn't think that was going to work. 
Right. I think I um yeah. I think I remember when I did that on stream dizzy um with the with the contact box and I put it next to the uh the, the time safe um button. Oh yeah, yeah all underneath and we were both yeah. being really quiet we were watching just this push. <laughs> and then don't they shoot, jumped don't on shoot it. Him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at a certain point you have to make your own fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You you have to because like like I said, people who grind this game for eight hours a day and literally just go about shooting and not really doing anything else, I'm like that's boring. I'm like, give me give me talent. That's why like I use different weapons. That's why like I'll try doing silly stuff with like contact bombs or whatnot. The mm. like I booby trapped a vinyl once because I said, hey. <laughs> Let's try it. Like it's different, right? That's like, a, I, no I'm one's expecting it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm a little disappointed. You cannot booby trap like signals or something like that. Like, yeah, I would love to be able to booby trap signals or you know comp, comp station, station something like yeah. that. Because right? not everything that has a, like an interact or a prompt picked yeah, in can be. Can be you, yeah. you can't booby trap. So, mm. and like imagine booby trapping like the cash spot or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think yeah, booby trapping signals is probably one one of the best be ones because like everyone that. everyone uses signals. Oh, There's yeah. always someone who uses signals oh, yeah. at least once a game. Oh, my yeah. God. imagine you put contact bombs all around the signals, and then the, they see it. Well, oh, people oh, have done it. Whoo, yeah. Shoot, shoot <laughs> to the destroy the contact bombs. They don't expect the booby traps there. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's probably a good place for us to wrap up. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, yeah, movie trapping signals. <laughs> Something for the future, right? Yeah. 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 Hashtag movie trap signals. <laughs> movie trap signals. Yeah. Bring make make booby traps better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we hey, go. At one point, Overwatch had like let Tor uh, wall climb as a hashtag this is way back in like the overwatch one day and literally it got to the point where the devs actually like made it happen where they made a little composite sketch where in their own working dev environment they let uh torbjorn actually wall climb <laughs> so that's why we're going to make this happen we're going to make it happen okay <laughs> i'm with you i'm with you there we go <laughs> I, all right 100 i wish it happens but anyway <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, but I'd like to say thank you again for Wardog and Dizzy for coming online and talking with us. That was thank awesome. You. Much appreciate. We appreciate you having you here. The, uh, invite. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, of thank course. You. Yeah. And, and thank you, you know, for our listeners for being here for fifty episodes and listening to us ramble on about vigor and other things. Uh, so yeah. and thank you, Doc, for asking me to participate in this podcast. And <laughs> absolutely, it was Doc's birthday this week. Happy birthday, Doc! Uh, happy happy, birthday. Uh, happy uh, birthday. birthday! Well, it was a, it was a, what's the date? The week before? No, it was it, it, this past week. You had a birthday was, uh, this past week. No, that was on the seventh. Nah. It was Monday the seventh. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm just now. At least you're sorry. Yeah, I know it just it goes by quick. Um, but yeah, um, now that uh, they've changed so much, we we're, we're definitely going to have to revisit some of our old episodes, and 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 start updating. I think because uh -huh. um, our like where to find loot episode is yeah. not so relevant anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're we're going to do some uh, some investigations. But yeah. anyways, uh, thanks again. And as always, um, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate it. Um, leave a yeah. comment um, below. We'd like to hear your see your comments and we'll try to always respond to them. Um, but that's number 50 in the can. Don't forget to oh, get your bigger uh, threat Get your bigger your swag. Sweatshirt. We're literally <laughs> all wearing it. So we we're all wearing it tonight. Exactly. <laughs> and that wasn't planned. We just that was not planned. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it just worked out perfectly. <laughs> Anyways. But uh, everybody have a great night and 
stay safe in the Outlands. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm waving. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>